We're supposed to go take that coast in the face of all the machine guns and all the the odds stacked in a, against us. But that's how I feel in my spirit. I don't know if you feel that, Brad. Yeah. But that's how I feel. Like we're all in those ships ready to take the beach. That's how I feel. That's exactly how I feel. And the enemy's sending all his ammunition he can to keep us off that beach to scare us away. But I know, I know, I know that we have the victory through Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. And if it takes a little correction from the Lord to smack me upside the head and get me straight, then praise God, hit me again, Lord. Because I don't want to. I don't want to really have done all this for nothing. <laughs> I really don't. It's not what I want. That's not what I want for me. Not what I want for you. So keep each other in prayer. If you guys want copies of this prophecy to meditate on it, let me know. I'll get it to you. But I am going to be posting it up on the web. So let's close this up in prayer, Lord. I thank you for your word. I thank you for health and healing in my family and those that are here. For this ministry here to be both physically healed and spiritually healed. And knit together in the bonds of unity and love, Lord. Unity of the spirit. Pull together unto that perfect body, that perfect man that you have called us to walk in, Lord. Father, I thank you for those that join us online and for, for those that watch this video. And Father, I ask that you minister unto them and unto their heart. And Lord, that I ask you to help those people out there that are without hope, that think that there's no salvation for them, that think that there's no way. Let me tell you right now, there is a way, and his name is Jesus Christ. The world may lie to you. Churches may lie to you. But let me tell you what, Jesus will never lie to you. And he is the way. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you're going through. The answer to your problem is Jesus Christ. Amen. And Father, above all, help that message get out. Help that message get out that you are the way, that you are the source, that you are the solution. Father, please forgive us our sins. Father, please forgive us for all of the times that we didn't take you seriously, that we didn't walk in, in, the, in the fear of you, Lord. Father, please forgive us. Father, uh, please have mercy on us. Father, I ask that your angels go around us, that they stand watch and guard as, they know, as I know they do over this property to protect us. And Lord, I ask that you stretch that umbrella over Brad's and Lisa's house, Lord, and over Paul's house and Philip and that property over there, Lord, that you just continue to bring us where you need us to be to fulfill your will in all these places, Lord, and you give us guidance you give Brad wisdom as he's learning the gardening stuff and as he's struggling with which path to take on so many fronts, Lord, just give him discernment and wisdom. Why don't you help Lisa as well to, to be that support and to learn that trusting you is okay. It's really okay because you've got it handled. Father, I just lift up Phil and Hope. Lord, I know they're newly married and they're coming up on that year, Lord, and they made it. They're still standing. Praise God. I know it's a testament to you, Lord, and so I thank you for keeping them together despite the odds, Lord. Father, I thank you for the victory that we already have, that we already have in you. Lord, as we go out the rest of this week, give us strength. Help us to learn to stand strong in the power of your might, Lord, and not in our own. In Jesus' name, I thank you. I praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.